click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the last problem we talked about the production schedule or the production mix. In the present problem we are going to discuss the material mix for bricks. Is again this problem will cover a strict constraint. We will learn what is a strict constraint in this problem. Let's read out the problem and then you proceed further. The standard weight of a special purpose brick is 5 kg. So this is the standard weight 5 kg and it contains two ingredients B1 and B2. So B1 and B2 are the two different raw materials. B1 cost 5 per kg whereas B2 cost 8 per kg. Strength consideration because you are making a brick it should be strong enough to be used for construction purpose. So based on that they have some quality standards or some strength rules which says that bricks should not contain not more than 4 kg of B1 and a minimum of 2 kg of B2. So B1 ka quantity 4 kg ke upar nahi jana chahi aur B2 ka kam se kam 2 kg hona hi chahi. Then only the brick will be strong enough to sustain the load or the weight. Since the demand for the product is likely to be related to the price of the brick, find out the minimum cost of the brick satisfying the above conditions. So we need to formulate this as a linear programming problem and decide what quantity I should mix for the B1 and B2 to minimize my total cost. Let's first tabulate this into a table and then we will proceed further to the formulation. So when you decide in what proportion I should use of the two materials B1 and B2 I'll put down the materials here B1 and B2 now the cost per kg for B1 is 5 rupees and for B2 it is 8 rupees and then there is a condition that there should be minimum 2 kg of B2 and not more than 4 kg of B1 and then we are given the overall weight of the brick that should not be more than 5 kg the standard weight of the brick should be 5 kg. So they don't want a brick less than 5 kg. They don't want a brick more than 5 kg. They want it exactly 5 kg. That is the standard that has been set by this particular factory or by this particular manufacturing unit. Now we need to make the assumption that we are putting x1 kg of ingredient B1 and x2 kg of ingredient B2 in, the, in my brick. Let's first write the assumption. Let x1 kg of ingredient B1 and x2 kg of ingredient B2 are mixed to manufacture a brick. So we assume that we are using x1 kg of B1 and x2 kg of B2 and now we are mixing them to make a brick. So my objective function will be minimize the cost comma z what shall be my cost now my cost shall be 
5x1 plus 8x2. 5 rupees per kg multiplied by x1. That is our assumption. 8 rupees per kg multiplied by x2. That is our assumption. If you do 5x1 plus 8x2. 5x1 plus 8x2. Subject to what are my constraints now? My first constraint will be that the weight of the brick, that the standard weight of the brick should not be more than 5 kg. It should be exactly equal to 5 kg. That is the standard set by them. So it will be x1 plus x2 will be equal to 5. It will not be less than 5. It will not be more than 5. It will be exactly equal to 5. This is called as a strict constraint. A strict constraint is a constraint where you want an exact that much weight of the brick, neither more than 5 kg nor less than 5 kg. That is called as a strict constraint. My next constraint will be they have clearly specified that x1 should not be more than 4 kg and x2 should not be should be minimum 2 kg. So x1 not more than 4 kg, so less than or equal to 4. And x2 should be minimum 2 kg, x2 more than or equals to 2. And at last I will note down my non-negativity constraints, which are x1 more than or equals to 0, x2 more than or equals to 0. We hope you have not missed out any point in the problem. Uh, this was the original question. So we have used the cost, we have used the standard weight 5 kg, and then we have used this 4 and 2. And this, with this, the problem is done. Thanks, thanks for watching this video. Do subscribe to our channel, Ikhida.